Welcome to the group exhibit Hydrogen, Fuel Cells and Batteries at the Hanover Fair 2017. We are here at the Technical Forum and my name is Muriel Boakas. Please have a seat, please join us for the upcoming presentations. Drinks are on the house, coffees are on the house. Uh, I would like to welcome also our um, guests watching the live streaming online. Um, the upcoming presentation will be regarding a roadmap for water electrolysis. Uh, please welcome with me on stage, program manager of power-based ba fuels of the NOW GmbH, Gerd Jax. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, um, my name is Gerd Jax from the National Organization Hydrogen and Fuel Cell Technology. And uh, today I'd like to give a short introduction to an upcoming study for a roadmap of water electrolysis in Germany, which started uh, three weeks ago and um, is coordinated by the NOW. Um, so f for the beginning, I'd like to show uh, what we are doing at the NOW, so our tasks and projects. Um, right now, we have four big programs um, which we are coordinating. Um, from an historical point of view, we have the National Innovation Program Hydrogen and Fuel Cell Technology, the NIP. And in, ad in uh, addition to that, we um, coordinate the program for the recharging infrastructure, battery mo mobility and mobility and fuel cell strategy from the German government. So today I uh, want to talk about water electrolysis, which is uh, addressed in the first program in the uh, NIP which is right now in the second phase, um, which started last year, 2016, with a budget of uh, 1.4 billion euros uh, for the next 10 years. And um, for the first um, years until 2019, we have a budget of about uh, 250 million euros. Um, and right now we have two um, funding guidelines for research and development, which was released last year, and uh, the second guideline for market activation, which was released this year. So right now we are at the very beginning of um, this NIP phase two. Um, what we want to do in the NIP is, um, first of all, um, basic research and development, so applied R&D demonstration projects um, to get a cost reduction for technologies which are connected to fuel cell and, and hydrogen technology, um, like mobility applications or stationary applications on the one hand. On the other hand, we want to have a market activation um, to get a lead market in Germany. And so overall, the, the target is to get a value creation in Germany and to get a competitive technology for the German market and for the uh, international market. So. As you see, um, hydrogen is um, the, the topic of the NIPs, so we have to have a look on um, the key technology to produce green hydrogen, which is water electrolysis. Uh, we can use it to produce pure hydrogen, or we can use it for power-to-x technologies, like power-to-gas for hydrogen and methane, or for power-to-fuels, power-to-liquids, uh, synthetic fuels. Um, so you see water electrolysis is a key technology to integrate renewable energy in different um, applications. So for these um, water electrolysis, right now we have three main uh, technologies, um, the alkaline, the PEM and the solid oxide electrolysis, uh, which um, um, are different in their characteristics. So we can split them in the low temperature and the high temperature, as you know. So uh, low temperature alkaline and PEM and high temperature solid oxide. Uh, for the solid oxide, we um, think that we can reach very high efficiency in comparison to the, the other two technologies, but we, we haven't seen them in large scale for commercial um, applications. So um, the alkaline, on the other hand, is a very well-known technique uh, with very low cost. Um, so you, you see we have different characteristics for these technologies and we have different te technological states right now. So our goal is to, to bring these technologies to a commercial state, to a um, yeah, competitive uh, state for uh, the production of hydrogen. 
So when we want to have an industrialization of um, water electrolyzers, we have to have a look on different topics like um, the technology state today and the technology state in the future. Um, we have to have a look on how to integrate these technologies, so which uh, technology is the best thing for which uh, application. Um, and then we have to know which capacity is needed for water electrolyzers in Germany um, so that we can yeah, have a look on the uh, production side, so how many electrolyzer systems have we to produce to, to um, get this supply of hydrogen. Um, for that, we have to look on uh, critical points of the mass production, like um, yeah, uh, the, the complete production chain uh, and, of course, political framework. So we addressed all these points in a study um, which is called Industrialization of Water Electrolyzers in Germany. As I said, it uh, started uh, three weeks ago and it's conducted by the Fraunhofer ISE, Fraunhofer EPA and uh, E4Tech. And all these topics are addressed in this study. So i like to show you what the work packages are of this study. Um, basically, we want to, to have a look on the current state and, and the future state. The future state means um, 2030 and 2050. Um, that are these two first um, work packages. After that, we can compare these two states and say where we um, yeah, have gaps, where we need to do research or um, other activities. And from this comparison, we want to get a roadmap um, to, yeah, to have a guideline for the NOW for the activities in the next 10 years for the industrialization of water electrolyzers. So that is basically the idea, to get a guideline, uh, what we have to do in the next 10 years in Germany, to get a German supply chain, um, to get these water electrolyzers in, in, in a high scale. Uh, what is new? Um, new is that we have, uh, on the one hand, um, a very close look on the production chain, um, and on the other hand, we combine that with an uh, energy system analyze. So, this combination of production on the one hand and the energy, um, or the, the um, demand of, on the other hand, is the new approach of this study. So, what does it mean to? Uh, have a look on the production chain. We, this is an example for just the PEM. We have a look on every technology, solid oxide, uh, alkaline, and PEM. Um, we will break it down to the subsystems and components and materials and have a very close look on, on every of these uh, elements um, to see and to identify critical components, critical components, uh, like critical production chain steps. Um, that is the goal of, of this, this work package, to have a very close look on the production side of um, the complete systems. And as I said, for every of the three technologies. So on the other hand, we will um, compare this with um, the supply of um, hydrogen or the demand of hydrogen. Um, for that, we will use an uh, energy system analyze. Um, so the target is to, to get the overall demand of hydrogen in 2030 to 2050. Um, and therefore, we will use a model by the Fraunhofer ISE, the Remod D, uh, which is used in, in other studies as well. Um, this model can calculate uh, cost-optimized transformation pathway to reach the greenhouse gas emission goals of Germany until 2050. Um, by modeling the complete energy supply in Germany. So um, we have a resolution of one hour per from today until 2050. Um, and we will have a look on all relevant sectors. So industry, transport, heat, and energy supply. So every sector is considered for um, this overall energy system analyze. The parameters are like general parameters, weather data, and uh, the load profile of Germany. So we have a very uh, close look from, from top down of the complete um, energy uh, system in Germany. So to summarize, um, right now this study started three weeks ago. Um, it's called Industrialization of Water Electrolyzers in Germany uh, by Fraunhofer ISE, Fraunhofer EPA, and E4Tech. Um, 
It is commissioned by the Federal Ministry of Transport and Digital Infrastructure and coordinated by us, the uh, NOW. And um, we will get the results in March 2018. And with these results, we will set up um, funding calls um, to, to yeah, get this market activation and uh, basic research on um, water electrolyzer systems so that we can get this industrialization in the next 10 years. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gerd, for this presentation. Are there any questions from the audience at the moment regarding this project? No? Um, I was on. Yes? This is not my field, but uh, I noticed that you said uh, that uh, you will have a one hour resolution of uh, this plan up to 2050. How yep. it is possible? It's very impressive. It is. Um, the thing is, I, I don't do the uh, study, I just coordinate it. So I can't say how they do it, but I know they can do it. They, it's a big model, of course, yeah. Um, but um, they use this model in other studies, and I think it works. So, uh, but when you have questions to that, you can ask Frau for Easel. Yeah. In computer, yeah. It's it's yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah, thank you for the talk. Um, this sounds a bit like the Plan Delicat study that was done by uh, Fraunhofer ISE and DLR. So but what is the difference there? Uh, okay, of course, you take the SOEC as well, but PEM and Alkaline, I think this was uh, pretty much covered there, where you've also analyzed the building and the components that you need and made an uh, extrapolation of the costs until 2050. So, so what's the real difference there between these two studies? Um, did they have a look on SOE? No, not SOEC, but they had the Alkaline and PEM, definitely. So maybe that's the answer. I, I think uh, we have to consider all of these three technologies, um, especially for a big scale. Uh, and that is the approach of, of this study. Yeah. Further questions? Otherwise, I would like to know that NOW is responsible to coordinate and manage different innovation projects or programs. Um, do you see a trend or development um, that there is more, more projects coordinated by different uh, companies or that there is in general uh, more interest in this topic? Or how do you see a development in this field? Water electrolysis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. We do, yeah. Um, I think it starts right now. First, first the, the fuel cell started uh, the, the last 10 years, yes. and, and now uh, the interest in, in water electrolysis increases. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, if you have questions or you want to discuss further topics later on, visit there at the booth number B56, right on the left side. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will continue with the next presentation at 12 um, o'clock. Please stay with us, even though it's almost lunchtime. The next presentation will be regarding novel power electronics for distributed generation and energy storage by combined energies. Have a drink, have a coffee, and see you in a few minutes. Thank you very much. <laughs>